this adventure, I spend 24 hours on Lake Wiley. As an avid fisherman, I'll often push myself to the limits, seeing the river in varying stages of activity, giving you the edge of tracking where the fish are moving, active feeding times. This is the second part of an amazing adventure. This is Venture Syndicate. if none of that was recording. <laughs> yes, baby, yes! Ah, there we go, baby. There we go.
ran me right into the thing up. That fish was fighting so hard too. I'm wondering if I'm getting played with Gar or something. This is fighting extremely hard. I think I was seeing the silhouette of a fish. But like, I don't know, a blue cat? Maybe it's like there's one. What if it's still caught around the log? I see a lot of disaster coming. That cat is hung around the branch over there. I don't know if you guys can see the silhouette on camera the way I can see it in person, but it's not leaving, which tells me it's hung around these lines. Now I'm solo, which means I'm going to have to pull anchors, work the boat, and keep the lines from getting in my prop and try and get that fish loose. But I can't leave the, that fish there like that. So, currently, there's logs right behind my boat. There's no way I can turn my motor on. I'm going to use this anchor and shimmy my way over there. Well, I just had one hell of an event, and only a little bit of it got caught on camera. I was dumping my brim into the floor to give them a water change. Simultaneously, a blue cat slams a rod gets tangled in the tree that's right next to me here now I know the risk of fishing this tree right here right on this tree knowing they'll get tangled in it and me knowing they'll get tangled in it is me agreeing that if they get tangled in it I'm not going to let a fish die on that tree even if I have to get in, it's only about four or five foot deep. Well, the wind started raging, pushing me into the creek, preventing me from staying positioned. Airplanes, man. Preventing me from staying positioned to get my line tangled out of the tree to bring the fish up. I come up with this ingenious idea to net the fish and as soon as I get it in the net, cut my line. I do that, I cut the line with my teeth, not having a knife handy. I get the fish in just to find out None of it was recorded. Now I've been out on the river almost 24 hours straight now. About all my rigs are lost. I 
think I'm gonna go hang out at Dell's for a little bit and uh, kind of regroup. But in the end, I'll probably come straight back to this spot. As fish are coming through here every now and again. It's pretty nice to sit and relax in a chair and every 30 minutes you get some live action. Now if this becomes the end of my trip, I want to say I learned a lot. I've done some upgrades to my boat. I got this new fancy film stand camera stand and light stand that the camera is on and so the beginning of this video it may look very zoomed in because it was I didn't figure out to zoom it out to where you could perfectly see the two landing zones and all the rods until earlier today when I was playing around with camera positioning. I didn't play around with camera positioning last night due to it being dark. I had my friend Noah with me. So I'm having to watch after him and solo the boat. I don't know which one's worse, solo in the boat or solo in the boat or having someone with you that doesn't know what they're doing. I'll let y'all decide. But ultimately, I think I'll be back. And I think Zax might meet me out here. I'm tired. I'm gonna go back to Dell's and take a nap or something. Reset all my rigs, reline some rods. My favorite pole doesn't even have a line on it right now. I haven't used it at all yet. As much as I'd like to stay because the fish are biting, they might not be later. I'm gonna go take a break.